my channel. So today I thought I would do a updated brow routine. Um, a few things have changed since I posted my last brow routine. I've used and found some new products and I thought I would share with you guys. So let's get to it. So for my brows, I've just been using a couple of things. I've been using this this dark brown pomade by Milani and if I opened it I was very surprised when I opened it because you can see the waxy um, the wax on top is like a very very light brown but you can see in the middle it's a little bit darker so I was very surprised with that and very happy with this product um, I was a little bit skeptical because of that light brown waxy film on top but once you get in the product it's much darker and this is the darkest uh, color I believe they have is this dark brown so if you're looking for like a more of a black color I don't think they have it not in um, Walgreens anyway they might have it online if they do I will try to find it and link it down below um, also what I have is this lash and brow just this clear lash and brow mascara I got this from shopmissa.com I'll link this down below but it's just a clear mascara that can set your lashes and everything like that it's nothing fancy with it um only thing about it i don't like how big the wand is but it's supposed to be for your lashes too so i guess it couldn't be that small but it's not a deal burger it was only a dollar so first things first we're going to go ahead and just comb or brush through our lashes Ooh, our lashes, our eyebrows to make sure all the hairs are going in the same direction. And I'm going to use a angled, um, a angled brush like this. Milani product does come with a angled brush as well, but I didn't like it, so I'm using my own. So we're gonna go ahead, and I like to start at the um, closer towards the back and fill in my brows like that and I just follow the natural shape of my brows <laughs> and I go back and forth between filling them in and brushing the product out just to make sure I'm not over um, I'm not putting too much product on my brows but I just like a very natural brow but when I get to the end, I like to turn my brush um, sideways like this and sweep to give me that nice little sharp point right here that everybody has that looks good. So that's how I get that. That's the easiest way that I get that. So I need my brows waxed really, really bad. That's pretty much it. So you can see this brow is still kind of, well, this brow is not done and this brow is. So you can see it's very natural, nothing too much. And now we're going to go through and conceal um, your brows. What I use is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. So I go through and the product has a brush applicator, which is very handy. And I just go through, this mirror's too far. I just go through and sculpt my brow out. I like to use my finger because it's easier to blend out the product that way because your finger is warm and it warms up the product so I just go through and using a padding and swiping motions um, blend out that concealer <laughs> So 
last thing, we're going to take that um, brow mascara. You can use a tinted one or a clear one. Um, sometimes I use my tinted one that's from Wet n Wild. It's just a light brown color. It doesn't give me too much of a, a color, but sometimes I just like a little extra. But today I'm just feeling very natural brows. So I'm just going in with this clear mascara just so none of my brows will go anywhere and it will just lock it in place. So I like to comb up and then comb to the side to make sure I'm getting all my hairs and everything is locked into place. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see any of my other videos or any of my previous videos, you can check the description bar below. And let's get this video to 25 likes. It'll be awesome. And until next time, bye guys.